SLA. Now, so we are close to Christmas and we need to ensure that all our presents are arriving on time. That's why we are introducing a new SLA model. SLAs are actually introduced with 3.15 and here on the present task, we are uh, configuring our SLA model. Now looking at the SLA model, we can define what is our business calendar. Now, since we need to deliver Christmas presents, we are going for 24 seven now. We uh, would like to have a fast reaction time. So let's look at that first. Then the reaction time is supposed to be 30 seconds. So our people need to work really fast. And uh, at the beginning, when we start the task, we always set the variable to no escalation. So, I mean, at this time they just received the task, that's fine. And then we have a really aggressive SLA schedule. So 25 seconds before the reaction time, we are setting then you should get started. Then next step is uh, basically here 20 seconds before the reaction time. It's important that the kids are happy. And then 10 seconds before the reaction, please just do the task. And that is what we have configured here. So when we go actually then here for a new uh, Christmas preparation case and just start here a new present for uh, Lisa, for example, she is uh, three, no sleepless nights and uh, good behavior. Then we have here the prepare a small present. We see here now escalation is no escalation. I just added that value here in real world. You would send out an email, a notification with a chat message or a start an escalation process. But we now see that we should get started with that task actually. And it's important that the kids are happy. And we have here actually a start process button, which we could use to start the actual process before then we reach the final stage of the escalation and uh, which actually now is the case. So we can start and from that point on, we are basically going ahead and no longer escalating the reaction time. Now it's really about the completion time. I hope you enjoyed that. See you next time.